trade news. Mark Stahl and a 2021 second round pick are headed to Detroit while the Rangers acquire future considerations. As a Ranger fan, my first impression was I was kind of sad to see Mark Stahl go. You know, he wasn't the greatest defenseman, but he did bring that veteran presence to a very young defensive core team in New York. Um, but hey, you know, I'm not complaining. We got 5.7 million off the cap for us, and we now have that availability to re-sign guys like Tony D'Angelo, Ryan Strom, and now we even have money if we want to throw at Jesper Faust, which could be big because I heard negotiations weren't really going well, so now we maybe could throw some more money back at him if we really, really want him. Detroit clearly isn't going to be a playoff contender anytime soon. That, that's clear. They're probably about three, four years out of a playoff spot. So for Detroit, you're getting a veteran presence on defense, which I think the Rangers are going to end up missing during the next season, which I will get into. But Detroit's getting a veteran d defenseman and a future pick, um, which is good for Detroit. They need a lot of picks because they're not very talented right now, and they need those picks for the future of Detroit. Um, the Rangers now go into free agency as of right now. No other moves are made, which I'll have other topics about that. Um, in other videos, but the Rangers are going into free agency with about $20 million in cap space, according to Cap Friendly. Cap Friendly is a great website to use when you want to look at a projected cap space for every team, free agency. It's a great website to use. Um, they have that room now to sign Tony D'Angelo, Ryan Strom, and Jesper Foss, like I said, which is pretty interesting. You know, even if we don't end up signing one of those guys, we can go out and sign a free agent which I do think is also a possibility that I will get into. But um, looking at Mark Stahl's stats, Mark Stahl played 892 games as a Ranger, put up 43 goals, 145 assists for 188 points with a plus minus of 46. Um, 12th, 12th overall pick, excuse me, in the 2005 draft. He's done a great job for the years he's been here, in my opinion. You know, he even sacrificed his vision that one game when he took the puck to the face, ended up scoring the overtime goal. That was pretty amazing to see. Excuse me. But, um, yeah, the Rangers, they, they move into the offseason of $20 million in cap. Detroit gets a second-round pick, and I think it's beneficial for both teams. I don't know what the future considerations are, but as a Ranger fan, I am excited now that we have the potential to sign those three players, like I keep mentioning, but... Also, we now have the potential to go out and sign a left-handed uh, defenseman. And the re reason why I say the Rangers possibly might do that is because now without Mark Stahl, they have, I think it's Fox and Lindgren as their only NHL left-handed defenseman. I mean, I guess you could put Hayek, but I don't think they'll... I don't really think Hayek's an NHL defenseman in my opinion. I mean, you have Keandre Miller, but I don't think he's NHL ready. I think he really needs that year in Hartford for de development. Excuse me again. But um, when you look at the free agency list this year, you have guys like Tory Krug out there. You know, you have guys like Andy Green. I don't think the Rangers go after Andy Green. I don't think they go after Tory Krug. Then you have guys, guys like Tanev, CeCe. You know, there are defensive options for the Rangers out there in free agency. I don't know if they end up going after any of them. Brendan Dillon, another guy. I don't know if the Rangers end up going after anyone in free agency. I don't really think they end up will go after anyone in free agency. Um, but it's a matter of time. I think this move really kind of tells Ranger fans that, hey, our goal is to re-sign Strom and D'Angelo now. And I think reports have come out now after the Mark Stahl trade that the D'Angelo agents and the New York Rangers have now engaged in contract extensions, which I think every Ranger fan should be happy about because D'Angelo just, he brings that offensive, def like he's just that good offensive defenseman you want on your team. You know, he, he wears the Ranger jersey with pride and I think he does a great job for it. He does on the team. But um, yeah, tell me what you all think down in the comments below. And uh, this is my first video. So like, if you like the content, Make sure to like and subscribe and tell me what you think about the trade in the comments below. It's not a blockbuster, but hey, it's a trade. I want to start doing this YouTube stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.